Light Wolf Speaks, Episode 1, Start Where You Are. Today's theme is Start Where You Are. Hi folks, I'm Light Wolf. Welcome to my lair. Sit right down for a spell while I tell you a tale. For those of you who are new to the channel, I was an agnostic atheist until a profound spiritual experience in 2013 changed all that. Since then, I have dedicated myself to a life of service to others. This channel is one way I am contributing to the healing of the world. Here you will find videos that run the gamut of interests, though mostly in the spiritual and metaphysical realms. Join me, if you will, for a quick morning prayer. Thank you, Spirit, for surrounding us with love and light, protecting us from those who would do us harm, and guiding us on our path for our greater good. Thank you, we love you, and so it is. Blessed be. Now, I am not a doctor, and nothing I say on this channel should be construed as medical advice. It is all simply my opinion, and should be taken with a grain of salt. Always verify any information from any source, and check with your trusted physician or naturopathic caregiver, spiritual leader, and inner guidance before applying it in your own life. This video is for entertainment purposes only. And now, on with the show. Making and keeping your New Year's resolutions is a lot like planting crops. When you plant seeds in the ground, that's not the end of it. If you want your crops to bear sweet, juicy, delicious fruit, you must actively manage the soil and the environment until it is time to harvest. Diligence is key, and it is especially important to get it right at the beginning, because if you fail to provide fertilizer and water for nourishment, enough sun for photosynthesis, and to remove weeds when they are young, you will end up with a poor harvest, not much fruit, and a gar garden overrun with nuisances and pests. So too, go your resolutions. You can't just make them and forget them. If you don't weed and feed your resolutions, all you will have to show at the end of the year is a field full of weeds and not much usable fruit. And what are the weeds in this analogy? Why, they are the reasons you use to justify not doing the work you know you should, otherwise known as excuses. Look, we're all human. We all have things that come up from time to time. Those things are the weeds in the garden of your dreams. But what if you don't have all the items you need to build the perfect garden? The answer is start where you are. Let's say your goal is to build a relatively self-sustaining edible garden full of corn, potatoes, tomatoes, squash, celery, uh, carrots, onions, beets, collards, sugar snap peas, green beans, etc. But this is a new garden, money is tight, and you've only got some of what you need. What should you do? You should start where you are. Figure out which of those items will bear you the most and best quantity and quality of fruit quickly with the least expense for your highest good. If you live in the arid desert, you don't choose a plant like banana that only grows in the moist tropics as your first crop. No, you choose something drought tolerant, hardy, and relatively inexpensive to source like prickly pear cactus and wild sage. Similarly, if you live in the deep south with its moist, sandy, and clay-filled soil, you can start with something practical like collard greens, sugar snap peas, and beets, and you will be eating nutritious salads in less than a month. If you start potatoes at the same time, you won't be able to harvest for about nine months, but you will quadruple your investment and be able to eat throughout the winter since potatoes store very well. But starting where you are means you must exercise patience. 
So let's translate this to some possible goals for your new year of 2018. Perhaps someone out there wants a job as a high paying web developer that will support the family comfortably and already has some skill, but never the right skill set for the jobs available. You are a Jack or Jill of all code, but a specialist in none. You especially like WordPress, so you decided to focus there. You know that roles that are not appropriate, you just need to politely decline or ignore, including anything to do with .NET, since that has zero to do with WordPress. Take it from me. If you get a job building enterprise WordPress websites and you are not qualified, you will constantly feel like you are drowning and in over your head. Coworkers and management will resent you because you can't keep up and you will be let go or fired in short order. Sure, the salary was high, the benefits were great, and you liked the work mostly, but not being able to perform to the standards that were expected means you let everyone down and can't really honestly talk about that job in interviews because though you occupied a seat for two months and typed some code, you really didn't contribute. Thus, your efforts bear poor fruit because they weren't planted in the appropriate conditions. Now, you may be saying, but Lightwolf, don't they say aim for the stars? I have found that aiming for the stars is good when you don't yet know your limits. However, if you aim for the stars and repeatedly fail to get there, maybe it's time to aim for the moon. This doesn't mean you have to give up on your stellar dreams and goals but rather that you may need to have many goals to help you gain confidence, get some easy wins, and demonstrate mastery on the way to your ultimate goal. A better way to get and keep that great job is by exercising patience and starting where you are. For instance, instead of going the cheat route above, maybe you build some free websites on WordPress.com to learn the basics and have something to show for your efforts right away. Then you sign up on a freelancer site like Fiverr or Upwork and begin doing basic page editing or content updating gigs for $20 an hour. Not enough to support you, but enough to put food on the table and gas in the car while you begin to interview for entry level WordPress jobs. Maybe you do freelance gigs for six months or so before you get your first actual entry-level WordPress job. It only pays $25 an hour, but now you have steady, consistent work that pays the bills, and your contribution is valued, recognized, and honored by your team and management. You invest in an online course that you do at home in your spare time learning advanced WordPress development. You learn how to build child themes and create custom post types and over the course of a year create 10 functional websites that demonstrate your understanding of these advanced techniques. Now you are confident and competent enough to build websites from scratch so you apply internally for Oh, for, so you apply internally for a WordPress theme designer role, which comes with more money and more responsibility, but not more than you can handle. When you don't feel qualified, you should always assess your situation, then start where you are. The only exception is when you are called by spirit. When you are called, you don't need to be qualified because you are chosen. But that's a topic for another video. If you are not called and not qualified, things will be unnecessarily hard going for you. Let me give you one more example. 
Let's say you put on some body weight during the fall and you want to lose 50 pounds by June for your sister's wedding. Do you think sitting around your house eating Cheetos is going to accomplish that? Of course not! For many who need to lose weight in a relatively short period of time, the first thing they think of is whatever the latest crash diet fad is. But you are smarter than that. You've researched and learned that the average human can only lose two pounds a week safely if they want to be able to keep it off and stay healthy. Additionally, you've discovered that a combination of resistance training and cardio workouts is key to gaining a trim and toned body without stretch marks. So, though you wish you could be fit and trim right now, you know it is going to take some effort to achieve your goal in only six months. You decide to have patience and start where you are. You do all you can to facilitate your goal. Gym membership isn't in the budget right now, so you make your environment your gym. You stretch and do 10 minutes of resistance band exercises every morning. You bring your lunch to work, with meat being the only processed food in your bag. Now as a side note, some of us are successful at being raw vegans, but for most of us, that's just not practical and can be detrimental to our health, so don't criticize. You jog after work for an hour because you know that fat loss doesn't even begin until after the first 30 minutes. You do push-ups and sit-ups at night during commercials and after a month you are already starting to feel great. Yay! This is an example of a mini goal. Now all of a sudden you've got habits built after three weeks. You know, say, say, some say it takes 21 days, some say it takes 28 days. In any case it takes about a month to go from not doing something to all of a sudden doing something regularly. Uh, as a side, uh, okay, so you jog after work for an hour. Well, sorry, I read that right, didn't I? <laughs> but then two months before the wedding, you decide to celebrate with friends at a local bar and in the morning realize you've gained back two pounds. Do you give up, call it quits, and eat a whole container of Haagen-Dazs Dolce de Leche ice cream as a consolation prize? Of course not! You acknowledge that you've gone backward a little, then you start where you are. You look at photos of yourself over the past few months and see how, you, how much you've changed already and how far you've really come in this short time frame then you determine to offset any potential setbacks by adding a half hour of cardio kickboxing after your Saturday jog. Sunday you honor your body and rest. Finally, the day of the wedding comes and not only do you fit in the dress, you look and feel amazing and have managed your body's health in such a way that you are easily able to keep the weight off for many years to come. As a bonus, you have developed incredibly beneficial habits that contribute and enhance your overall health and happiness for the rest of your life. In the end, the real enemy we face isn't the weeds or excuses and justifications. Rather, it is resisting the idea that we can't just have it immediately right now. And really, if we honestly looked at it, whatever it is we're wanting, we really don't want it right now. Because sometimes we want the wrong things and we only realize it later. It takes time, diligence, discipline, and patience, and the willingness to humble ourselves enough to admit where we are right now and then be willing to start from there instead of trying to find a quick fix. To paraphrase the ancient, ancient Taoist Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu, a journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. 
Thank you for watching this video. I hope this has been educational and entertaining. Please leave a comment and let me know if this video helped you in any way. As always, be sure to like and subscribe if you find this channel or my content valuable. Help our channel grow by sharing, sorry, <laughs> sharing this video. Uh, also, if you're interested in uh, my readings and services, uh, I specialize in libromancy, which is doing readings by books, aura readings, and dream interpretations. I also do tarot and that kind of stuff, but this is what, what I specialize in. And it's kind of rare, so get a hold of me and, and you'll get a rare type of reading if you're familiar with having oracle readings and stuff like that. These are a little bit different. Uh, if you'd like a reading, check out my Facebook services page. Um, just look for Light Wolf Shamanic Healing and then go to services. If you have any trouble trying to book a reading on Facebook, feel free to contact me uh, through Messenger or leave a message below. Please let me know in the comments also, as this is a, a relatively new channel, what spiritual, metaphysical, or natural healing topics you might like me to cover in the future videos. Your input is very much valued and appreciated. Be sure to look for my website coming soon where you can download my free ebook, order merchandise, and read my blog. Thank you and have a blessed day.